Hey there, football lovers. Champions League is back and so am I. I'm Gav and my co-host, Kuchu Canadian Pandit, Bhagav is still in jail for stealing a VCR. That's the VCR. Doesn't even work anymore, but he's still in jail. But don't worry, he'll be out next week on parole. So let's roll bitches. The first game, Manchester United versus Young Boys. And Young Boys beat our asses 2-1. Full disclosure, I'm a lifelong Manchester United fan, so it hurts. Ronaldo put Manchester United in front with the 13th minute goal. That's what Ronaldo does, scores in every game. But then Van Bissaka comes in, he loves the color red so much because we were outside, we were not wearing our red color, so he got a red in 35th minute. And then Manchester United started defending. Like we are playing Bayern Munich 2020, not Young Boys. Their name is Young Boys. Okay. And then eventually we can't even defend, so we lose 2-1, 95th minute winner by Young Boys after a what on earth were you thinking back pass by West Ham legend, Jesse Lingard, Jesse Lingard, nice abs Jesse Lingard. Alright, now let's talk about Barcelona versus Bayern Munich. Barcelona at home lost to Bayern 3-0, Robert Lewandowski or as some people call him Robert Lewandowski scored twice. Everybody saw that coming. Robert Lewandowski is an amazing person. Yes, he is. He knew it. Everybody knew it. All right. Listen, I'm a half class full kind of bloke. So all I'm going to say is at least it wasn't 8-2 like the last time. It was just bad. It was very difficult to swallow. Let's see who gets fired first. Ronald Koeman or Ole Gunnar Solja? It will be Ole. Ole, Ole. All right, Zenit versus Chelsea. Chelsea won one nil. This was not a fun game, but one person made all the difference. You know who it was? Lukaku, who converted a half chance. And Chelsea won one nil. That's all. Nothing more. All right, Malmo versus Juventus. Juventus finally gave Max Allegri, their coach, something to smile about awkwardly. This person smiles more awkwardly than I do. After they beat Malmo, a club from Sweden, three nil. Full disclosure: I had never heard of Malmo until this game. Who are these people? Fair enough. Let's talk about Besiktas versus Dortmund. All I have to talk about is Erling Prout Holland. Now this guy scored, look at him. This guy is only 20 years old. This guy looks Herculean. And that's all that matter, he scores and they win. Rumor has it that both Holland and Mbappe will be playing for Real Madrid next season. Or maybe not, maybe they'll play for Manchester United. Well, we can dream, we can dream, we can dream. Let's talk about Villarreal versus Atlanta. Villarreal, this is the same team that beat United in the Europa League final and they're so happy, these bastards were so happy but we deserve to lose and now they're in our, our group again to beat us again and kick us out of the group stage, out of Champions League within the group stage only. I can assure you, if you don't know anything about Atlanta, then all you need to know is they are a lot like Leeds. I, I would love to see a Leeds versus Atlanta match, it will be a 9-9 draw, magnificent. Oh, by the way, I didn't even tell you the score on this one. So it was Villarreal 2, Atlanta 2. It was a good game. You can watch the highlights if you haven't watched the match. Atletico Madrid versus FC Porto. Now, FC Porto, Atletico Madrid are a lot like Chiteshwar Pujar. It's all about defense. Neither they score goals or nor neither they let the other team score goals. So yeah, 0-0 was the final result and it was not a surprise at all. Let's talk about Club Rouge versus PSG. This is the first time Eminem, as they're calling it, Messi, Neymar, Mbappe. Eminem played for the first time ever and they did not play well. They drew 1-1 to Club Rouge. People don't even know who Club Rouge is. And Club Rouge was also the better team. Can the real Eminem please stand up? Please stand up. Please stand up. Can the real M please stand up? Eminem, this is not the real Eminem. One of the best matches of the week was Liverpool versus AC Milan. It was a five goal bonanza that Liverpool eventually won 3-2. They dominated the game. But Milan, look at this guy. They were at one stage 2-1 up when this guy scored and they could have actually beaten the Reds. If you haven't missed, if you missed the match, this is a great match for neutrals. If you missed it, don't miss the highlights. They are free on YouTube. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Now, Inter Milan versus Real Madrid. Everybody think Real Madrid is shit. Inter Milan played really well. They made million chances. Madrid created one and they scored one. Eventually, they won one nil after the nine, 89th minute goal by Rodrigo. This guy scored and that's football. At the end, Madrid always wins. All right, let's talk about Sporting CP versus Ajax. Only thing I have to say about this is this guy, Sebastian Haller. He scored four times. One, two, three, and four. 
So four goals in one match. That's all. Nobody cares about Ajax or Sporting. Move on to the next one. The best match, best match, best match. Almost the best match. With nine goal thriller between Manchester City and RB Leipzig. Nine goals. Everybody loves goals. City were dominant throughout the match, but they switched off, kept switching off in between. And during that switch offs, RB kept scoring. At one time, it was City was 4 3 and it was very precarious. Then they scored twice and sealed the deal after the final goal by Jesus or Jesus or however they pronounce it. 6 3 they won. Some people are saying, is it a worry that they conceded thrice? Well, it's not nice to concede thrice, but should happen, bro. It happens. What can we do? What can we do? All right, the final game we can talk about is the best game. Dynamo Key versus Benfica. It ended 0-0. Now you're like, why on earth is this the last game we're talking about? And when the game ended 0-0, and who cares about Dynamo Key and Benfica? No one cares, right? No one cares. But no, it's not always about the teams and the scoreline. Sometimes it's about the referees. Superstar of the Champions League week one was English referee Anthony Taylor. Now this guy showed second yellow followed by a red card to Kiev midfielder Dennis Garbash. Amazing. Now he showed a red card to this person. He quickly then realized that Garmash had never received the first yellow. That he has never even given him the first yellow. How can you give the second yellow before even giving him the first yellow? I mean, like, this is kind of weird, right? And once Taylor realized this, he was very, very embarrassed. Taylor did not help his fellow English referees' cause, who are constantly under fire for being, let's just say, really shit. All right, that's all I have for me from me tonight. Next time, I'll be back with my co-host and legendary pundit, who, at times, steals VCRs and goes to jail. Well, everybody's done shit stuff. You might have done shit stuff as well. I steal babies. That happens. All right, like and subscribe. Have a good night. And dream football. If you're not sleeping, just sleep, mate. Sometimes you should sleep. All you fucking Gen Z people never sleep. Take care. Bye now.